Yeah, I think on the underside. Yeah, there's it's it's just got to go through a piece of sheet metal is all. I know. So thread them down. One where washer like for the thickness of the sheet metal. Yeah. That's yeah. Good or two. I would say one washer is fine. Okay, so there's two on there. Block washer. Washer. Oops. Right on your toe. Washer, lock washer, nut. Yes. Now each of these is different. You can screw these in right. deeper. That one's going real deep. Yeah, that one goes pretty deep too. Okay. You put an extra washer on there for the thickness yes. of the yeah. sheet metal. Yeah. So I would just take, why don't you just do this, Pop? I'm just gonna mark it where we cut it. There we go. Okay. That should be plenty. And that should be plenty for all of them. Could be. Or you could make it a little longer too, just if you really wanted to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just gonna stick down into the wheel well. So you wanna cut that? Yeah. you fingers. Go ahead. Okay. I was kind of filming that blind, so I don't know if I even filmed it. Look, it just still came right off. It didn't mess with that one. This yeah, one. Run that one back. Oh, this one will... We can get another one or two out of this. Oh yeah, shaft. that's what I yeah. thought. Shaft. Yeah, that just went right just fine too. So might be a little hard to start in there. I know it. <laughs> nope. Look at that. We right just look at that. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And that's the only thing is, is, yep, all those are sticking. That's the right height to see. Yeah, that's what I wanted to make sure that those weren't recessed not long some enough. in there. Grab that bar down or that metal. Lay it long ways on there and let's see. Because we know that's straight. Okay, there's how much. There, this is right up against the body. That's what I wanted to see though, is, is that recess down in a little that yeah. you needed it longer there. It looks fine, it looks yeah. perfect. Okay. Here. All right, we'll rinse, repeat that. You're gonna glue these studs in? Is that the, is that the plan? Um, Each stud custom yeah, cut. Loctite or something on them. So yeah, I would. Yeah. I glue them in. Just measure and cut the rest of them that size. Okay, I mean, but is this going to be too long? I guess it doesn't matter doesn't if it's matter a little if it's too a little long. Longer. Yeah, they all go down in there, so. Yeah, let's assembly line make some one inch all thread. Pliers to hold on to it. Quarter, 20, all thread. Cut them down to what? Inch and a half is fine, you think? Where's the uh, tape measure? I don't know. How long is this? You want a tape measure? Yeah, I think we put it away, I guess. Da, da, da. All right, these studs look like they're inch and a quarter. Inch and inch and a quarter would be fine. Yeah, I'd like them all inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Okay. All right, we'll be right back when these are all done. All right. So, is there a side left and right? I mean, that one looks like that's what we're trying to figure out. Twenty-seven and three eighths. Three eighths. Is it to the edge of this or is it to the edge of the fender? I think it's to the edge of that. The okay. fender. There's the front. 
Maybe the other way. Well, let me get. Tell me if that's what you think this is. So that's the front edge of that. This one looks pretty well molded and seated all the way around. 27 3 8. Yeah, see, that's for this side. That's the yeah, 27 3 8. So 27 and 3 eighths. That's that fender, but still. Right. You yeah. flip it the same on the other side. Yeah, yeah. And that's laying pretty flat, you say? Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. I mean, does it? You tighten it down. Let me yeah. see what it looks like on this side. Yeah, so make see sure. It, see if it fits better over there. Or the same. If it's the same, then this one probably not. Yeah, this one doesn't. Well, that fender's all beat to hell. This, yeah, this needs work. We got to work this. Yeah, that's. It's wow. too bowed down. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a ton of work, but find a fender for a seventy. That's right. It's like he's bought. It's how many, how many seventy here. hoods do you have now, and you're still not happy with them? Right, you just bought another one today. <laughs> one, two, three. No, I only have. You got four. I have four. Yeah, that's my thought. But one of them is pretty trashed. Three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, you can see how much more work this needs. Yeah, yeah this, this oh, needs we can. to be up. And does this come out and then drop down? Look at that. Not this yeah, side. a little bit. It's, it's a smooth transition. Yeah, to, yeah but it does slope downward a little bit. It's sloping down, but you got a hard 90 yeah, that, that takes. Look at, that, look at that. It's real high there. Yeah. yeah. And this you is really... a dent right here in this one, too, I think. I think there is a dent there, look too. Look right here from yeah. that angle. Yeah, I can see it. It yeah. looks like it falls off. Yeah, it dings what? in a little bit. Somebody leaned on it too hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can do we can do one, I guess. Um, um, I would say they're both the same. Yeah. I don't know. You need to make sure that this edge, there's not a longer edge on one of them. You could read in the instructions, it. but it, he may not say. I mean, they look, they look on top of each other. I mean, they look identical. Oh, you put thread locker down in there. Yeah, actually, we, it does look a little different. The the curl. Yeah, they're skewed. A One side bit. is a little different. Hmm. Well, how does that one fit over here? Black. This one fit fit well here. Yeah, it does. And this angle looks a little sharper than this angle, and maybe the sharp angle goes on the inside. Yeah, we need to do some research before we punch holes, and look and see how much of a gap is on the outside if it's, I would if I would it's meant it. to be like oh i think right. i've looked at pictures of them and they're like centered. a quarter inch they're centered yeah yeah wow so right there would be good bolts holes are right up against they're right there yeah and then i know there's a big circle that you cut how big a hole that we'll have to read because i'm sure oh you think he says punch a six diameter. inch hole yeah, I don't. I Does don't, it get re uh, re? Uh, gets a screen put underneath it. Yeah, but does it get support? Where you're punching a giant hole here. I don't think so. No. It doesn't have like a ring that goes around. That's on the backside. Do you want to throw them in here? Yeah, yeah we'll okay. throw them in. Except for except the, that one. Yeah. Well, figure it. Get them fitted up to where you know which one goes on which side. Can't, you can see this is a little sharper here this is more gradual it looks like to me this goes out and goes right yeah that kind of fades well, around we can pull those out i'd Pull say you need to lay it on there and see yeah you know, that hasn't yeah. set up yet yeah, no, they haven't. thread locker's not set up no okay all right that one kind of did oh we'll get it out of there boy that one went way deep yeah that one went deep all right when we come back we'll have figured out which one is the right side maybe and which one is the left side okay, yeah. maybe and which one is right this. for the left side okay we're gonna try this or one. right for the right <laughs> <laughs> let's look on our uh okay that doesn't fit it doesn't fit so this is not the right where, where's our build guide 
No, none of those. That one doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. So put it over there. See what it does. It probably fits. Well, this that one's gonna be a little funky too, cause the... that one fits perfect here. Yeah. This one fits better than the other one. Where it's low, it's yeah. just low in the center. Yeah. Because would... they had filled that with bondo. Or that one looks good there. Yeah. And that one looks great. Okay, didn't I mark there. that R? Did I put an RH on that one? Yeah. See okay. what this one looks like here. The, the the fender's too bad to tell. But uh, that's pretty much. And this one, I don't think rocks much. Man, it does. Well, the you can judge with that fender. Direction. Put that one over here. But that one doesn't fit over here. This one fits. Yeah. Really nicely. Yeah. Well, you get some bolts in it, it's gonna suck it right down. Yeah. yeah. And then you put that one here. And it does not fit. It does not fit well at all. Right. So yeah, you know, there'd be a lot to fill in. Yeah, put, put left hand on that one. Yeah, yep, this is a LH. Executive decision. That Even one's got an R H on it. Somebody could rub over that one or something. Wait a minute, what's under there? Oh, RH. That's... I, thought, I thought it was in here. <laughs> I'm like, why are you covering that? You, I knew it you're was doing a... a trick for the camera for the viewers at home? <laughs> you tricking my father? Uh, now, which one? This one has the. Okay, now you got me there. scared. This is uh, the right. It's more on that. Right hand. And it does kind of. It does kind of like to find its home there. Yeah, that's the right one. So. Yeah, like it. Right hand. Cool. All right, so put all your studs in, re-thread lock them, and then we'll punch some holes in the fender, huh? Eventually, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I don't know that we're going to... You want to here. body work this fender first? Oh, that one's... Yeah. I guess, you know, you could have the holes in. Pop. Wait a minute. Should we use this as left hand? Should we use this as a guide when we're filling? So you, we fill it's going to go in the spot it's going to live. That, that's exactly where I was going is. That yeah. can be kind of your guide where the... To dolly work that yeah. and, and make that all right. That... I would trust this as the right yes. fit than that top of that fender. Yeah, yeah. So let's not put these in there. <laughs> well, actually, the right hand, we could do that. Oh, well, I would say, because that one's I would say put it in, put them in, and then let's drill our holes. Then it, it has to live wherever we work that fender to. It's fine putting those in. And you get the holes punched, dolly around, get it all fit. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them like this, so I can keep working, so I know how. To, just to set it on there each time. Yeah. Set it on each time and think, okay, we've worked it. This fits good. Then I'll drill my holes because there, there's liable to be filler or dirt glass where the holes got to be, and then we'll be I have to re-drill it. Mm, okay. We don't know how these studs. I would just say, if you had the holes. That goes in and lives in the same spot every time, and you can work the fender around it. Nobody cares what I say. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So what do you figure? Okay. This this is what continuing came. the chapter saga. This epic. came with the kit. Yep. And we've, we've wondered I what assume that's for. we needed this whole thing because it had holes. So I cut it out of metal, <clears throat> and I hadn't cut this center out yet. But in looking in the booklet. There's four rivets for metal backing because that's the lift point for these lights. Oh, yeah. And you can see the other end. That's a metal plate. It looks like it. That's yeah. tacked to I the see. rod. It looks like it's spot welded on there. So when you turn the shaft, it's going to this lift whole thing, the whole it's, thing. It's using this whole ear yes, as right. leverage instead of just the hole. Yeah. But this is probably the metal that goes on there and that's for the shaft but you could just cut out a piece of metal rivet it on there and then when you drill your hole you know drill it out big enough and then you're gonna once you get your rod in you're gonna tack it to, to this 
So when that rod turns, it turns all this. Yeah. So why aren't why are you making this shape instead of just because, this shape? Because this is what came in the kit. I oh. cut all the excess. That okay. was like stamped. But it doesn't think, look like we you think need. we can just cut a piece this shape. Yeah, it looks because like that back one. Do. Looks like that back one you can see a lip on the bottom of it. Oh yeah, like, it's, it's a like piece holes. of metal. Yeah. Because you don't want to try to lift on fiberglass. Yeah. And I would almost even make it bigger. Oh look, there's a better view of the rod right there. And make it come down. Yes. There's make a better this. view. I, I just noticed that. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, like I a, would even make this metal piece, maybe even come down an here angle. farther, formed along this. Well, I, I don't know how much that goes up in that you might have a rivet down there that, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying and to bend this metal it. So that you have more metal down. And you can down panel bond part. down into there too. That yeah. way it's, it's not just twisting, trying to break yeah, this, this off. This, it's trying to, the whole ear is yeah. connected. Yeah, and it's on the inside, so that'll stay flush. Yeah, and that piece is actually good. Just trim out this and that, and we can put a kink in we it. You can rivet it down here, you can rivet it up here. Yeah, so the rivets will slide by. Yeah. Now we can do that. And so, form, it, form it to match that. Not sure what that little what that is right there in the middle because it might be a bump stop is that where the wires come through for the light uh, might be but there's two little ears there they're cut out yeah I don't know exactly I don't know exactly and it says that you use um, I think uh, Chrysler Pivot bracket 71 to 75 Chrysler. That's this. That's the, bra the pivot bracket or the pivot. Right there. Yeah. But why couldn't you just take a half inch metal bracket? Because where it attaches for the for the motor, which I've got the motors, we're going to have to put some sort of mechanism that attaches how it moves. Is that the other piece of metal? That other little thing? No, I don't Is see. Is that a bracket that... Mm -mm. No, not really, huh? So I'm not sure where that goes. So that was part of of, of this. Yeah, I know you just cut that off. That was hanging off It the was side. in here somewhere and I, and I cut it off because this is what was pressed into it. And then the rest of this was just bare stuff, which is not cut perfectly straight. I was making it out of metal. Yeah. But I well, see... we'll clean it up with the metal. I mean, we're... We're kind of just mocking getting everything yep. test fit anyway. Yeah, oh, I see you got your holes drilled out. Yeah, we back. got the holes drilled out. And as you can see, this has, whoops. Oh, I see that can move that rod. See that rod can move around in there. That's awesome. And then the other side, according to if it's hitting, when it comes up. Yeah, if you've got to skew the thing that pops up out of the hood. Right. And these will have to be knocked out like this. Yep. I'm not sure. That probably goes in and bolts or something when it's in the nose. We're recording over here, Doug. Golly. So I'm working over here. <laughs> oh, okay. And we're going Keep working. <laughs> and we're going to uh, we drill these out. We're gonna put the rivets. I saw in, here. In, in there they looked like ginormous rivets in this. Yeah, picture. they've used some big ones. Uh, where was it that I saw those? Maybe next page? Yeah, I think so. No the back page. Yeah, there they are. Uh, yeah, look at them. look at those. Yeah, they're good size. They big rivets, but that's fine because you you put uh, you got buckets. rivets that big. These buckets, headlight buckets, go over them. And of course, you got to get all your your stanchions that that hold these things. Yeah. For your adjustments, and we got to blast these and probably powder coat them. Yep. Black. Yeah. And I'll probably paint the inside of this and everything black. Think so. Okay. Of course, this has got to be the same as the car. <laughs> mm -hmm. Probably all this, and maybe be all the same color as the car, with these being black. Yep. Cool, cool. So, I like seeing them come together. Yeah, it's it's just been kind of a puzzle. Um, I mean, if you're halfway, I are, guess intelligent. Are you halfway? Maybe we're a half. <laughs> Between the two of us, we got a halfway intelligent. You can figure it out. I think <laughs> Janik has some nice pictures in the in the catalog. 
on a catalog in the instruction manual mm -hmm. and reading about it. So, but one good thing good that Janik's done is I've had some questions about how the nose was. Sent him an email and said, what, I put my, pictures of mine. He sent me some great pictures of previous builds and boy, it just, it, it shows it really nice. So really communicable. Yeah, he's, he's real good at getting back with you on email. And he says they're always updating the manual. So, uh, Tommy, further can down use the some road of our go, pictures. If it, I mean, it'll if be this thick. Yeah. <laughs> so, he's welcome. We're, the, none of our stuff is proprietary here. So, if he wants to use some of your oh, pictures as, sure, as you do it. So, yeah, it's working out pretty good. Good, good, good. So, I like it. All right. We'll come back for the next steps. Yeah. All right. That's looking pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's a, it's a lot that has been done. Of course, that's the axle. Mm -hmm. Two axles. What I did is drilled out all these. Yep. And riveted them on there. Riveted it in. Them. Same with these. These are metal. Cut out metal reinforcements. Oh, I see they're all rivets now. Yep, looks good. Drilled through. Yeah, it looks nice. Oh, nice rivets. Yep. And then a screw in and here. Then you've got and the extra long plate that you put all the way up in there. Yeah, and then put put one down at the bottom. Where did it stop? It it stopped like down here in the instructions. Yeah. You just did extra beefcake. Yeah. In fact, for this to lift, there's uh, there's a rivet here. In the metal to the outside just like this one gotcha. that's that's hidden although they've got a hole there like you could put a one in there but this is this is what lifts the whole thing yep and i've still got to that's why it's not permanent i still have to put rivets in here yep but and you're I'll, gonna get I'll, all your headlight stuff yeah you gotta put in those and... in and and probably rough this all up prime it uh, I could probably go ahead and paint these black if I'm going to leave. If I'm going to do them black, is that what you're thinking? Just I don't know. Just inside this lip, or are you going to? Yeah, because this oh, that, that'll be yellow. That's yeah, yellow. Maybe all this should be yellow. I don't know. If, you know, whatever the car color is. Yeah, I don't. I'm going yellow. Yeah, I thought you were doing yellow and black. Yep. And uh, to really finish it off, I need to sandblast these the headlight buckets. Yep. I still have this one to, <laughs> to completely do. I got I got these all drilled out. And these they're all ready to go to to put in the nose. Yep. Um, once it's done, and all I did was uh, just temporarily put the the motor on there because. Uh, well, we figured out by placing these boxes up in the nose which one was the drivers which one was the, was the passenger yeah well, they're all they're all labeled so we could get the right motor on the right door yes but at any rate i looked online and i know this goes on here and then you have to station make it stationary and they make it's like a probably about that big around goes on there and there's allen wrench screws oh really Titan. so can't remember what they're called i don't know uh keep capture keep your something yeah capture uh, not yes but i could put it there or you can put them on the inside but i'll probably put them on the outside so you can take them off and you can take this all apart again gotcha but what are you going to do to attach this motor to this bar? yeah that's the thing is got to get it straight down and then that pushes I don't know if it has to be something here and then a pivot on the end and this pivot as well because when that goes up maybe that there needs to be two flex points here um but i need to so you may do a little trial and error yeah i gotta hook this up and put voltage to it and then just see what the travel is well then, I, I think they look pretty this is pretty self-explanatory, the travel. Flip it over the other way. Oh, yeah. You can see. You can see your limit switch here. Right. And then it's which, on a limit switch, so it's going to travel that much. It's going to go all the way open and be right there. So you're going to have... See, look at that. See, this unscrews, too. Yep. So if you had to, you could take and 
this probably unscrews. Yeah, it unscrews as well. You probably could have some all thread, and you could probably make your own custom length. Yeah. If you want to make it, if you need to be in there deeper, that this won't go. That might help you. I know. What kind of thread just, is that? It looks like fine thread. Yeah, that's not quarter twenty. No, but you could probably go. I don't know, Home Depot, someplace, and probably find that thread. Yeah, or I, I mean, it's real lightweight, but put those threads in a little bar stock. I've got bar stock about that width sitting up over there. Yeah. Remember. Okay. In so any that, event, yeah, that, it, that, it might work out just fine if you just attach it to something, and then, right. Like Doug was saying the other day, is it? It's not a giant headlight. It's not opening a a, a trunk. It's no. stupid little headlights pop up that don't weigh anything. I know. Well, you're gonna have two bulbs in there and the wiring. And, oh yeah, I guess. I mean, there'll be a little weight. And to those it. are little metal. Yeah. Cereal bowls. Right. I mean, it'll have a little weight to it, but you're using this motor is probably powerful. I mean, there's motors not much bigger than that that roll your window up and down. So yeah, true. this is probably just going to... And if this catches, boom, it's just going to pop. Push it forward, yeah. So that's why you got to do it here and figure it all out. I got all that adjustment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's another thing they do is they put, uh, a, me they put a metal plate over that too. To tighten down on uh, I've, I've seen them online where you refashion this out of metal well they, no they just put one over the top of this what do you think about the metal plate with a bearing on it welded I don't think for I'm, super smooth no operation weight. there's no, no weight on the shaft because it's just pivoting okay and the, the, the wear yeah it's gonna spin in that thing but where's my there's where it's going to be sitting is on that mm -hmm. and that's metal so that's not going to wear out it's not going to chunk away at anything no. or wear through anything no so i see that's then, pretty cool did you want to show shoving it up in the nose or you want to do that no i don't have to okay well you, you made quite a bit of progress there yeah. to show the viewers how it all goes together and to review ourselves for when it's in paint a year from now, how it all goes back together. <laughs> now the ones that I did the metal to keep this, you know, more smooth for moving, not have the nubs, this goes through and you don't have to have a washer on it because you're pulling against metal. Oh yeah, I got Yeah. You. But then the other one that I did. Uh, all around the edge. This one here, which we fabricated in metal, this goes through well it's a fiber on. yeah it's fiber hang on i don't have this the motor locked in no it's just it's loose well <laughs> kind of loose it was loose by hand but there went down in your head right yeah i know it okay i got too much junk here I see. Where we go behind, I put. They're bigger, and they'll they'll grab more. I've got all these mm -hmm. small, small. And brass not going to rust. No, it won't rust. And as it spreads well, they out, must have been it like pulled. the perfect size for those because <laughs> they look awesome. Well, that was the thing. It's I grabbed these, and the. Um, well, those are all big ones. Um, when you grab a rivet, I mean, they just they barely go on there. Uh -huh. And they slip right down. And you can see they're, they're a little bit bigger than the rivet. Uh -huh. So it, they're probably not needed. But I thought, well, I've got them. I might as well use them. Yeah. And then the... Uh, I took some big ones. Yeah, these are bigger ones. For you put them around the outside here. Is that what that is? Yeah, so somewhere I used I used a big one instead of the small one. But anyway, there's my two 
two size rivets. Cool. Yeah, but you can, you know you can do just one. So yeah, this once I get the other one all cut out and fabricated with the metal pieces, you see these are just they're just taped on there right now. Oh yeah, I have to drill them. I I I could have filmed it all, but I I marked all these that no this is were, fine i'm i'm fine doing a review i drilled them all holding them in the vise uh each one of these because It'll you can't spin and slice you you can't you can't hold them i don't recommend doing that you can't hold this and drill it because i mean it'll just slice you up i know um i i put it on there and then i just i just marked where i wanted to do it on the flat areas and then once I drilled this, and I laid it back on there and would hold it with the pliers and drill through and rivet each one. And uh, it would hold this tight drill up. Drill through the fiber with that up next to it. Yeah, like right now. Yeah. So I was putting one there. I would hold that, put a rivet in it, and see it's not all the way up against it down there. Yeah, need a little then more would, metal shaping. Yeah. And then I drill the big one out. That way I know it's all lined up perfect. Yep. On both of them, so. A lot to these little headlight doors for the. There are there there are so many things to it, and see I don't have these done either. Uh huh. Or do these get drilled out? I can't remember if they even get drilled out. I guess they do. Oh, oh what? Sure. No, that's. You talking about these other holes? No. For springs and stuff to come back through? No, those those will get drilled to put a spring, but I can do that with just a drill. These have to be squared off because of the light, if it's square. Mm, gotcha, okay. But most all of it happens. Yeah, you don't, have, you don't have those holes drilled yet. Where are the... Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're, they're in this. Those have to be made square. Gotcha, so you just file those down. Yeah, I just file them down. Hole. In fact, these are all square now. I see, yeah. And those have those little blocks that have the screws and springs to adjust your oh yep 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 i got got so, what you're saying that's the plan all right I'll well good work tomorrow and get the other bucket done so a lot of work to put together the ultimate model yeah i probably worked three hours on that today and i'll probably work three or four hours to get this one done yeah and then i don't know how to paint when you paint and put all that together we're going to have to come up with a whole paint schedule like we did my car. I know. I know, because do you paint the back of that fiberglass? Um, I would say yes. So what color? At least paint it all black just to seal all the hairs. and. Yeah, I think so. I would say you don't want to look in there and see unfinished. Of course, you probably you should never be able to look in there. You're going to be able to look through this grill right here. Well, that's going to have a grill on it. Yeah, I know. It's, you're going to see pieces if you want You could to. look in there and see it looks like raw fiberglass. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say black for sure. maybe just a black sealer over the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, is that where you... Oh, I see you. No, that's... I thought you may have drilled your holes. So no. that whole bucket just goes up in there. We test that. that. Yeah, it, there's your... I've got to drill these out. And you put your capture... Or, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to use. So there's one, two, three, four, five yep. points. That is from drilling these, probably. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that's the extra. Yeah. And then drilling these I here, see. too. I don't know if anything... Maybe the Z brackets oh, will they, bolt they in there. Oh, they probably do. You're probably that's right. that's probably what helps hold it. Yep. And then across the top with that bar. That... Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot to it, but it seems like a pretty good nose, so. Anyway. All right. Anything else on Daytona land today? No, that's just the progress made today. All right. You're building the ultimate model. How are you liking it? Pretty good. Pretty are you going to roll this one down the hill with firecrackers in it? No. You're not doing that. <laughs> uh, another thing, too, I saw online is some people use thick uh, all thread. Oh really? As the as the axle. Well, I thought we had some, and I, then I just found those over there. Oh yeah, that's, that's with the perfect. bar stock. Yeah, whatever this was. I don't know what that was, but I just when I saw the I thickness, I was like, "That'll make a headlight door bar." Yep. Cool. Okay. okay.
see your progress tomorrow. Oh yeah, all this has got to be, these have to be cut out because the bucket lays, I guess in here and the bolt, actually the sides where the bolts are, you can get to them. And take, oh, to take it out and service the headlight yeah. door, huh? Huh. And I mean, I think I've drilled all the rest of the stuff out pretty much. That's for the, that's for the, what you call it, mounts. That go this? into the no the side the six holes there that, that right that goes into there right yeah which you can't put it up there now because it's got the rotisserie on it but yeah and then I cut these out because this is where the uh, headlight or the marker lights go turn yep. signal whatever you call them yeah we'll need to get those custom fit to the lights I guess yeah they just have three screws oh yeah so. cool yep good work. Hey, welcome back to Clark's Place. Today I'm going to talk about uh, what I'm doing working on the uh, flip-up headlights for the Daytona. Basically, you've got your bucket assemblies. And inside, I'll show you how I've done this. The flip-up part, which, of course, makes the uh, Daytona kind of unique. Anyway, what has been done is the inner part, whoops, sorry about that. There's two sections here. You have your bucket assembly that the headlights will go into. And this is another part that, let's see if I can hold the camera here. This goes on the back side. Sorry. This goes on the uh, back side and has attaching points. Three of them here, three of them here. And this creates the, the squared off. Actually, I don't know why I'm showing you on this one. This one's already done. And you can see that there's the squared off where the square uh, screws that adjust the headlights, where they go. And inside, what, what we've done is found a shaft that fits in there. And it mounts on the inside, this part here. This part here that uh, this more detail you can see that uh, I've riveted riveted this on on the side and the other part the other side which I have not completed yet this is kind of how it looks take a metal piece of metal we formed it to fit drill it out I don't have the big part drilled out yet and then we rivet these to create uh, the strength uh, within the fiberglass because this is where the where the rod, the axle if you want to call it, goes through to lift it. And then inside, oh good, I got a helper. My film crew's here. <laughs> what you've got here is better never than later. Is the motor mounts here which it looks uh, it's basically the same size uh, bolt holes and everything as the old vacuum type but this is electric motor goes in those holes and you're showing what uh, you explained earlier that you guys figured out today yes this is what we figured out and what we've done is you can't hardly see it oh, I just saw it yeah this that's bracket the, that's the tab we made yeah i've got one here that's not gross this tab mm -hmm. is mounted inside there and what it will do is it will it will mount on the shaft this is when it's all the way folded down the shaft from the motor will push that we've yeah, already tried cool. it it's it's got a pivot here on this front as yep, you see, I it see pivots. It. Yep. So as it goes up, it bends, 
and it pushes this up. That is so cool. So no, no fastening anything to this bar. No. Like we were talking. What I have to do is to keep this bar, see it, it moves. Yeah, I can pull yeah, it all yeah. the way out. Is to find the center and to find this measurement, whether it's forward. Yeah, I know that moves. Yep. There's a little bit of movement on both ends. Then I'm going to take a collar that has, that slips over. It's like a big washer. It has a couple Alan, we might even grind, grind like a flat spot I'll into it. a flat spot, and that'll keep this from moving back and forth. And then on the inside, you can see there's room in there. Oh, yeah, you got some adjustment to, there. To too. put one there, put one there when we get it set. And then this won't move back and forth, and the rod won't move back and forth. Will that be at the time of assembly that you, we've got to have the right amount of spacer in there that that pops up into the hood correctly yeah or into the the nose cone yeah but see right now looks like you're bumping a little there yeah it's bumping uh, i can't remember oh it's right here and i we've already i didn't mark it yet as this comes around it's hitting this which is a little, little higher this edge well that's got to go down because that so, needs to be there i mean yeah, i'm going to take and zzz, i'm going to Use a sander and sand that down, that high spot, this high spot. Well, do you know if the headlight needs to go up further than that? Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. there's... I'm thinking that mm -hmm. might be all the way up. I doubt if it's all the way up no, there. No, I'm thinking it's going to be... Because this is this is the front of the nose right here. The nose coming down. Well, there's, so there's the angle might... when it's closed. So it's got to come up at least to there. I would to be say headlights. at least to there, yeah. So... It's a, that's, a lot, that's a lot of travel. Yeah, I see. And then also, you've got the adjustment on this. Because this will screw oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that little fine-tune adjustment and could this one be screws all you need. Out. I mean, only so far, of course. Yep. So, we've got, you know, there's a lot of adjustments and stuff there. Yes, sir. But that's what I'm working on now. I just wanted to show how we got these i always put that on backwards and we you know 1a 1a we actually marked all these like was say, that you and doug today no that was that was the other day but oh you and doug are gonna put them, put them together. together tomorrow yeah see this one's this one's all in uh the only thing that's not been done on this is all these rivets put in yeah well i think you're getting and I think about to where you figured it out. Yeah, I think so. And I think I, I showed the last video how we were putting uh, yep. the brass washers yep. at least where it tries to pull through the fiberglass. Yes, sir. And I'll do the same here. I'll put put it on there. Although I've got to I've got to buy some some longer ones. These real long ones, I believe, to go through all this fiberglass. Oh, those won't make it, you don't think? Well, these might, but that's considerably shorter. Oh, yeah. And you got two thicknesses of the fiberglass, so there's one thing. That's not going to... Well, I may, have a, I may have a kit over there. We'll have to look in my stuff. I think yeah. I've got some rivets over if there. If not, I was going to buy those, and there it is. I've got the, the collars. I need eight collars because I'll put one on this side, one on this side, mm -hmm. and then one on the outside. So there's four per light, and then the long rivets. And I'll probably just get an assortment of rivets. I've got plenty of the this, the regular style, but I'm just going to get some long ones. And I might get a couple big, these long ones as well. Wider, because, wider rivet? Yeah, and we're thinking that if this isn't strong enough to push... You can see, because it flexes. Yeah, a little, but... I but think not much. It, it, it's a light little door. I, I, if we had to, we could cut oh, a piece yeah. of this and use this, because that would never... And You're not bending that. No, but I would need the longer rivets. But I think this is going to be fine. Yeah, I think so. And you've also got that adjustment. If we had to move that forward a little and notch this out for these holes... Could do that, or if it needs to come down, I can drill these out. Gotcha. Yeah. So there's still a lot of fitting to do, uh, but we're getting closer. We know how it goes together now. I'm just about done with this, and what I do is I take it over and 
drill this was another piece of metal that had some drill holes in it this doesn't matter then i put it on here where it's going to go then i drill these out drill the first one out and i take pliers and hold that together squish it squish mm. it and uh, put the first rivet in then i can drill the next one put a rivet in and then i'll i'll clamp and get that as close as i can which this one fits pretty good yeah i see and then uh then drill the big one out like that one Yep. For the rod. And then there's a big one down here. The pictures show a nut and bolt going in there. Mm. I could put a big rivet, but this is recessed, so it's it's never going to hit the side as it goes up. Yep, I see. Inside, so. Yeah, looks good. Well, I haven't posted anything with all the headlight bucket video. Well, the, the, the fender's posted, the wing posted. Yeah. And then I've got probably two or three different video sessions of you working on these that yes i'll splice together and make a nice headlight bucket video for you yep it all should be good so and then we'll start putting it over there on the all right well i'll wait till tomorrow i'll come out here yeah, and maybe. film after you and doug have been here all day or you can you you can film with doug and then well doug won't be here tomorrow but i'll probably... oh i thought you said he was coming out tomorrow no oh okay so that'll do it okay that's so. it for tonight yep all right. Thank Looking you. good, mister. All right. <laughs> Till next time. Bye-bye. So, day 462 of <laughs> headlight manufacturing, but your buckets are about done, huh? Yeah, I think they're about done. There's, there'll be some fine tuning. See, these aren't super tight. 
that you can move this around according to how how this comes up and clears which that looks like it seems like it clears pretty well pretty free but I, I ground down there and i ground this down a little bit yeah i think you mentioned that in the last clip that but the final thing that. will be once it's put into the nose nose, is, this nose is sitting there yeah. but this is done as far as how i had to do this um i had to go this turns independently but it's locked in and this is locked in because this is a shaft collar with a with an allen screw in it so you went to a depot and bought this no i got i actually had to go to ace hardware oh okay home depot has them but you got to order them online hmm, okay they didn't have them in the store and then so ace had those just a little collar with an allen did you file a flat spot in it that, that no all i did was take it to the sander and uh i can do that when i t if i take it apart yeah i might do that because you're going to take it apart to paint everything anyway they're called shaft collars and this one's a three eighths by three eighths by three eighths well that was i guess a three eighths rod going right through. but then there was another one that heavy steel zinc it's all oh heavy steel bushings that was a bushing those are just the bushings these so are bushing you have inside like a like a washer yeah this is a bushing a spacer that i had to <laughs> drill out it looks just like this i drilled a hole and then i tapped it to a size allen and here's another one a size allen screw that i could tighten down on it so those are tight couldn't you have just bought more of these they didn't have any oh so you had to make your they own. only had two okay i got you <laughs> so this just you know it's tight i don't want to over tighten but I threaded the same thing as this you got here. I made my own. Uh, you could get two for the price of one of these. Gotcha. I should have bought a whole bunch of the other, but I don't think they had any. I think I bought all the 3 8 size that they had. There were four packs. Gotcha. So the 3 8 collars. Drawers. You got just the 3 8 spacer, and then you got 3 8 collars. Collars. Gotcha. But I could probably go online. The girl said you could buy. You got to buy a pack of 10 online, too. Huh. Okay. So I could have gotten a 10 there. Well, you'd need two, four, six, eight total for the headlight buckets. Two, four. Yeah, but I ended up, you don't need one on that end. Oh, I guess not. Because it can't come back because of that one and it can't go that way. And then I've also got one there. That just keeps, a spacer. It keeps this. See, there's just a slight bit of play. Gotcha. That's probably good, though, I think. And then deep down inside there, you can see this little... This is riveted on. It's actually a little triangle guy. Yep. It's this guy that came with the kit yep. out of fiberglass, which then you make it out of metal. And when you push with the motor, it will push, which my finger is not very strong. It'll just push that up. Yeah. And that we have to fit. Yeah, that's oh, right see. there. And then this is reinforced which I just filmed, which they just watched if you're watching this video. Okay. Drilling out one of these, putting on the rivets. I had to go get, I was out of the heavy duty long rivets and I was out of the, the longer rivets. Thinner, like longer. The, yeah, the thin long ones. All I had was the short ones. And I really wanted the long ones to did go. You, did you attach this to that now? Yes. Oh, I see, yep. And you can probably see in the back. See, they stick way through with a washer. Yeah. And really pull them down the other ones just there wasn't yes, enough sticking no, through no over there. yep so that one's done and i think this one's i think this one's done as well yeah i see your rivets your rivets down in there yep and then this one i think this one might hit a little i hear it's hitting right it, there is it right but here? no right here is it oh it looks like you shaved it some but see it's kind of in there cocked and I think that this side needs oh, to come up a little. Yeah, you could. It and may this side not hit when you adjust and you can, that. And you can loosen this, and then pull. Yeah, see, pull that down. Now watch; it'll probably hit really bad now. No, I just no. heard it. I just heard it over there. Yeah. Just, just fiber on fiber. So, but it, it's all going to be how how it matches up inside the uh, nose cone. So. 
Gotcha. I put away all my rivet stuff, all my rivet gun. I mean, I've got junk everywhere. I was using all the different drills today. So you're doing any more riveting? Because that's the next gift I was getting you. Was a no, I don't need a rivet gun. Two hundred fifty dollar Milwaukee rivet gun. No, Can I, I just get it for you? Because I like tools. <laughs> yeah, you just want another Milwaukee arrow. Arrow uh, thing. It's got the two different size uh, openings. Gotcha. So that's what you did, used for all of it. Use that for all of it, and then you've got one in your toolbox too. Oh, do I? Okay. So I we, think I bought a Craftsman or something. So we're ready to move now to fitting. I've got, I think it may come here tomorrow. The next day is the. You got fiber on you? You're itching. Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you must have been fiber dust I'm today. I'm scratching here too. Um, yeah, the shafts, like I said, I just took them on the sander. They would go through there, but they were kind of tight. So you cleaned up a little bit on those so, yes. the, so the collars on the other end would go down. And it would probably be nice to just put a little bit of uh, axle grease, yeah. whatever you want to call it. When, yeah. when they're all done and you're painted, put it on there so we have good operation. Yep. Um, what was I going to say now? Forget. Um, just putting all this stuff away, I guess. Can't think of anything else. No Milwaukee rivet gun. No, I don't need Milwaukee River again. All right, we'll have one next week. Yeah. We're going to build another one. You want to do all these rivets again by hand? Yeah, those were easy peasy. Oh, were they? Okay. Yeah. I pictured doing rivets things. as like, these stink. No, they were so easy. Okay. And we've got plenty of washers, plenty of rivets now. I mean, I only used a few of each one of, out, of the, out of the kits. Out of the hundred you bought. The, and, you know, I had two things full of them. Um. So didn't really need all right that so that many this is the end of the headlight bucket assembly video yes what is next at clark's place next will be which i'll probably start on that tomorrow i'll set it up and uh, explain trying to fit those in i know that there's Go slots through the trials and tribulations of getting them mocked yeah those mocked up into the nose i ordered the little the bolts that have the big washer part of it, like your fender bolts. They go on, they clip on, and then they, they capture. Oh, like a, yeah, the sleeves. It's like a C. Yeah, I got you. It has the nut on it. Um, I ordered, I think, 50 each of, I think, the smaller 9 16 and then the half inch, uh, which you need that for this because it'll go through, and then the capture will be on... I think they're little, they're little flared areas like this that has. So a, is the clip the clip isn't gonna go over there? The clip no, needs to go can, on a hole over there. Yeah, you can show over here. All right. There, uh, Preview of next video. Which I'll start on this tomorrow. So you're gonna drill you can a hole. See all there. these. All those get their. I'll holes. drill those out, and then slide the clips on. And then the bolt goes through that slit. Slit, yeah. So there. you have the adjustment. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty much like these. Not that one. I don't even have them on there. People know how to fender bolt. Yeah, I know. They just they clip on and they're a bear to try to get off. Yep. But to do a good job, you got to strip them all off to to do any restoration because they're in the way when you're trying to sand. Yeah, I don't have any on mine. And no, I think, I, think I bought a whole new fender bolt kit for it too. So. Yeah. Well, I got that. I got that ordered. So. That's, cool. Hopefully, get those tomorrow. Just all right. Day. Sounds good. End of headlight bucket video. Uh, you. Enjoying putting together your ultimate mo ultimate model kit. Yeah, the only thing else I've got to do is I've got to get with a company. I'm not sure who to buy all the hardware, the light stanchions, the screw-in spring. You oh, know. so you so you're not going to use these guys? Oh yeah, you're going to use those, but you want all the hardware. Got to have all the hardware to attach these to this. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, that must go like this. Looks like it. Yeah, you got a square one goes in there, down there, to put those on, and then that might just screw into it. I, I don't know. Yeah, well, get the hardware kit, and then you'll have little stanchions, and you'll be able to tell yeah. how it all goes in. Right. Or look at my headlight buckets up there. I think they're still assembled. True. That might help some. Well, and I had, I think, what I do, throw them away? Yeah. But they don't have any. They don't have any hardware on them. Mm, must have been stripped with the car. They've got three square ones. I don't think I have. 
Oh, SAE. That's just telling you. Yeah. The light to use. Okay. So, Is that it? Be another video starting tomorrow with this one in the uh, fabrication, I guess, of the headlight buckets. Gotcha. So. Cool. Let's go play some pinball. All right. Bye bye. Bye.